Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. This is Sue Taylor. What a wonderful thing it is when we are at the right place at the right time and a great opportunity presents itself on our behalf. We call this an advantage. It's a superior circumstance or ability that has come our way. This is how we should view our faith. Our faith is a great advantage, and it is an advantage for all women, men, boys, and girls who knows their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It knows no distinction, this great advantage of faith. In God's kingdom, advantage is not given by birth. When John the Baptist was baptizing, he wasn't partial to the Pharisees and the Sadducees who thought that by birth they had a great position in the things of the kingdom of God. In faith, when John the Baptist saw them coming to be baptized, he warned them to bring forth fruit in keeping with their repentance and said to them, Do not presume to say to yourselves that we have Abraham for our forefather. For I tell you, God is able to raise up descendants for Abraham from these stones. In God's kingdom, it matters not who your father or your mother is. John was saying such to those who were presuming on their descent from Abraham to be their entrance into heaven. We can't enter the kingdom of heaven just because of who our natural father or mother might be. What a privilege to know that it matters not to whom you were born. The advantage of faith is for all that will call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Secondly, the advantage of faith is not given according to race. There is no prejudice with God. The Apostle Paul said that there is neither Jew nor Greek, bond nor free, female or male, for we are all one in Christ Jesus. When you come to Christ, he certainly does not consider the color of your skin or your nationality. He considers your heart of repentance and your step of faith to accept him as your savior. Thirdly, the advantage of faith has nothing to do with position. John tells a story of a man named Nicodemus who was a ruler. He was a leader and he was an authoritative head among the Jews. And this man of position, like all other men, must make the confession of Christ in order to take advantage of faith. Jesus told Nicodemus that all men must be born again by the spirit if they were to enter the kingdom of God. It matters not the position that we hold in the flesh in this life. In God's kingdom, all men and women must pass through the same great door of advantage. And that advantage is the door of Christ himself. Fourthly, it is not by works that we get to take advantage of faith. Jesus warned in Matthew 5.20 that unless our righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, we would not enter the kingdom of God. These groups were content with their religious works and their ceremonies, which gave them an outward show of spirituality and righteousness. But true faith is that faith inwardly that brings forth good works out of the good treasure of the heart. And that if kind of faith is not interested in being noticed or rewarded or paraded here on earth. True faith will naturally produce good works, but never for show or based on performance or acceptance by others. For it is not by works that we are saved, but it is by faith in the Son of Jesus Christ. Also, wealth does not guarantee nor give us an advantage of faith. Jesus said, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and ruins or forfeits or loses himself? The poor and the not so poor all get to take advantage of this wonderful faith. And it does not matter the size of your bank account or the size of your home. Faith knows no limitations, no obstacles, no strong reasons against itself. Anyone, anywhere can have the advantage of faith. All that is required of anyone is to be found faithful with the faith he has. There's this beautiful parable of the talents in Matthew chapter 25. God knows your faith. He knows how much to give you. And the more you use your faith, the more faith will be given to you. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he shall have abundance. 
but from him who does not have, even what he does have will be taken away. Beloved, let us not take nor use our faith in vain. We have the advantage every day to exercise our faith in the one who is the object of our faith. Jesus must increase, we must decrease. Jesus asked the question, Will the Son of Man find faith upon the earth when he returns? Take advantage of your faith today and be found faithful when Jesus Christ comes to take you to live with him forever, who is the advantage of your faith. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.